The Message Systems Validator runs a series of tests to determine the deliverability quality of your email and is a valuable tool for seeing whether or not the messages you send will actually be delivered to your customers. First of all, we just enter all our particulars into the Get Started Now area and click Validate My Mail. I fill in all my information, everything I need to, and of course we want to stay updated and we want to validate mail. So the validator creates a generic test address that is unique to every test. So the first thing we do is we allow the generator to build the test address. Now we copy and paste that into our email client so that we can actually send a test. We can use this address as the to address in your sample content. For my purposes, I'm simply going to open up my Outlook and send a message from there. In a development environment, you may have uh, you may add this to your uh, test environment when you're sending. So I'm just going to open an Outlook and give this my test content. Uh, I would normally have a generator that creates some fantastic content for me, but I'm uh, just going to put together a very simple sample of something that you might put out. Obviously, yours is going to look much better than this. So what we can do now is we can take that content uh, as this email um, and we can take the test email address and paste that into our to line. So now what this will do is it will mail this to our validator system. The validator will then look at the message. So we'll also look at uh, tests that your typical ISP would do like DMARC, DKIM, and SPF to make sure that you're sending from a valid source, that it's your network is set up properly, your domain is set up properly, all of your settings in your DNS uh, references are set up properly, and also look at your content and your links uh, to look for things like spam violations and virus issues, uh, and send back a, an actual report. So we'll actually send this in, and this will go into the validator. Now, once, the, once we've actually sent that in, we can go through and check this by clicking on the continue button here, and it will take us to the validation system. So when we click on results, we get to see the test results. Here's the message that we sent in. This is the subject line of the message that you sent in for testing. If you click on that, you can get a detailed report of everything that we found out inside the email with the date that we sent it, who it was sent from, the subject line, the IP address that we sent it from, the domain that we uh, that initiated it, whether or not the whether or not the A record and the ELO uh, match the system, we can take a look at uh, received headers to t see uh, if they actually have valid information in it and information that is going to be reasonable for for a receiver to to get. We can see whether it actually passes a, an antivirus test, a number of actually different antivirus and spam checks. Uh, we can see that it, we can test whether or not it was on an active blacklist. We can see whether or not uh, SPF, the sender policy framework, is passing. In our particular case, we can see that DKIM failed. This is because I've sent this from a system that does not have uh, a DKIM entry sent. So no DKIM signature was, was found. For any further and deeper information on it, you can click on the question mark on the side here, and there's uh, some deeper information on exactly what that check is, what it does, what it's looking for, and you can find more information uh, about it from our best, uh, best practices security guide. You can use this as many times as you like. Once you've taken a look at it and you are happy with it, you can then you can send more tests in if you want to, to, to do more validation. Or if you're happy with those, you may want to share this with your IT team or your uh, mail ops staff uh, to make sure that they're, they're happy with them as well. Right click on that, copy the link address, and you can forward that on in any, any format that you like to, to other staff. If you're happy with the tool, feel free to use it as much as you like. Pass it on to friends. Um, let us know. Send us your feedback. Uh, we'd be happy to uh, help you out any way we can. And uh, thank you very much for watching.